hello and welcome back today we will go over football analytics and we will try to create a tree model for predicting if a football player will be drafted you can find link to the data file in the description area now before we run this line let's bring this data file here by clicking on upload and then browse so i have downloaded this nfl.csv file in downloaded folder so select open okay and the data file comes here let's run this line and you can see nfl.csv is listed here select open and immediately you have data on 6829 players with 15 variables if you click on this you can see player names position and various other metrics and then second last column is round so one means first round six means sixth round and na means the player was not drafted so no data available or not available means the player was not drafted so whether it is one or any number greater than zero in round column means the player was drafted otherwise not drafted we will use this column round to create a new column so we'll create a new column and call it drafted which will only have values yes or no whether the football player was drafted or not within my data we create a new column which doesn't exist right now using a dollar sign we can say drafted we are going to use a function if else and say my data and the variable round so whenever that column has a value greater than 0 then we want the column to have a value of y means yes yes the player was drafted we run this and if you look at my data you can see towards the end you have a column called drafted and whenever you have a value greater than 0 in round column we have y meaning yes the only thing remaining is whenever it is n a we want to say n or that player was not drafted so to do that we can say my data and then the variable drafted and with square brackets we can say is dot n a so is it a n a or not available kind of information or data within my data dollar sign drafted if this is the case then we want to assign within quotation n which will mean the player was not drafted so once we run this if you look at the last column again so now in the last column we only have values y or n so drafted column only has y or n data we will use this column as a dependent variable and then we will use independent variables to make a prediction whether a player will be drafted next for creating a classification model we will use 2003 data for all the players and use that as a training data set and create the model and then test performance of the model based on 2004 data and we will label that as testing data if you look at my data in year column we have year starting with 2000 and it goes up to 2020 so we have like more than two decades of data but as you know things change over time this is a very long time period and the technique and many things change so we will use 2003 data to create a model and then using that model we'll see how accurately we can make predictions for 2004 players whether a player will be drafted or not so our training will use all lowercase let's insert a library that we will need this library is called dplyr so if that package is not there we can go to packages in the fourth window install dplyr run this package we want to put 2003 data in training and for that we start with my data and then connect this using percentage greater than percentage symbol and then use filter and then for year you can see y is uppercase so we can say year equal equal 2003 so in 2003 we had data on 319 players whether they were drafted or not similarly for testing we can say year is 2004 so our testing data set has data on 335 players to create the tree model we need two libraries 
R part R stands for recursive and part for partitioning. It uses recursive partitioning algorithm which repeatedly cuts data to arrive at a decision tree model. So we don't need to install if uh, you already installed. In case it says no such package, you will have to go again in the fourth window, packages and hit install. Another one that we need for plotting is rpart.plot. So it says no such package. Let's install it and then run the library line. So now we are ready to make a tree model. Let's store tree model in tree. The function we use is R part. We are going to use last column drafted as the dependent variable as a function of. So when we are creating a model to predict whether a player will be drafted or not, obviously we don't need player name because if you have a model and a new player next year comes in, so they may have different names. So that's not very useful. So we do not use first and second column, but we can use third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh. So we can say POS, HT, height of the player, weight. So we have included these nine variables as independent variables. Data that we are using for creating the model is training. Let's run. It hardly takes any time and we are ready with our tree model. So we can use r part dot plot and plot the tree model. So out of these nine variables, the variable that has the biggest impact on whether a player will be drafted or not is variable called position. Any variable that comes at the top in the tree, so that's the most important variable in the model. So if position is not among one of these, if it is no, we go right. And then cone is the next important variable. If cone is more than equal to 7.4, we go left, otherwise right and so on. So wherever you start for a player, finally you will reach the last row. So those are all terminal nodes or decision nodes. So you have the final prediction in those nodes. So one thing you notice is out of nine variables, position, cone, weight of the player, and the variable 40, three out of nine variables have the biggest impact on whether a player will be drafted or not. So other variables uh, may be important, but at least they are not contributing that much in year 2003. So how can we use this data for making prediction for 2004? Another thing is each node has three pieces of information. The first piece in the terminal node is what is the prediction? N means if you reach this terminal node, the player is not drafted and the probability is 0.26. So chance of getting drafted is only 26%. And finally, you have percentage, third piece of information. So this 12% means what percentage of the entire data are used for arriving at this prediction that the chances of getting drafted is only 26%. So this is 12% data. If you add all the percentages in the terminal node, the total should be 100%. When these probabilities, the second data points are more than 50% or more than 0.5, we see it will be Y or yes, the chances of getting drafted is high. And if it is less than 50%, like here and here, so in these cases, the prediction is that player will not be drafted. Now let's use this tree for making predictions in 2004. So for that, let's look at testing data. First player in testing data, we have all the information and we also know that the player was actually drafted. Let's see whether our model is also able to come to the same conclusion or not. First, we need what is the position. This player is looking for position WR. Now WR is not among these. So the answer is no. We go right and come to cone. For the first player, the value for cone is 6.89. So definitely it is not greater than 7.4. So we again turn right and come to this node and look for weight. So weight of the player is 179 pounds. So weight is less than 215. So again we turn left and then we look at variable 40. So value of 40 for this player is 4.58. So 4.58 is not greater than or equal to 4.6. It's less. So we turn right and end here. 
this player has 85 percent chance of getting drafted so chances are very high that this player will be drafted that's what the model says and in reality also this player was drafted if you do a similar thing for the third player who was not drafted so we'll start with the position position is cb again cb is not part of this so we go right look at cone cone is 6.97 again we go right and look for weight weight is 185 so we turn left and look for 40 4.35 so this player also ends up with uh, this node and the prediction says that this player should be drafted but this player was not drafted so that means our model has done a misclassification we looked at two examples in one case it was right in other case it was not right so remember in testing data we have 335 players so let's make a quick summary of all 335 players and see how this model performs let's store predictions in p function we use is predict using model tree and we want to predict for testing data and our type of prediction is class just yes no we are not looking for probabilities so if you run this and you can check if you select p only and run you see all the predictions in terms of yes and no are stored in p let's compare this with actual data whether a player was drafted or not in 2004 so for that we can create a small table predicted value and then testing dollar drafted whether a player was drafted or not so this is the summary of prediction 47 players were not actually drafted and model also predicts they should not be drafted so correct prediction 170 players were actually drafted and the model also predicts they should be drafted so 170 correct prediction so on the diagonal we have correct predictions and off diagonal are incorrect predictions so 37 players were actually drafted but the model predicts they may not be whereas 81 players who were actually not drafted model says they should be drafted using this information we can estimate accuracy of the model for that what we do is you add the correct predictions which are on the diagonal so we can say 47 plus 170 and divide it by the total so remember in testing data we have 335 players so it says that accuracy is about 64.7 percent so this is how we can make a prediction whether a player will be drafted or not. Mm -hmm.